So this weird looking brown lump is pignut. And well, that's the common name or one of the common names. And it's one of those weird things that you get with common names that, well, there are several completely unrelated species that all have a very similar common name. But if you come to the UK and to sort of particularly England and Wales, then this little edible tuber is probably what you'll find as being referred to as pig nuts. The other common names are things like, well, kipper nut, jar nut, hawk nut, earth chestnut, earth nut, cat nut, and my favorite, which is jog journals. But well, most people these days seem to call them pig nuts. And well, that's the edible tuber bit. And that's the whole thing. So you get these very fine green fronds here, which later in the cycle of it will develop into flowers and you get an umbellifer type flower. It's sort of a whitey, sort of just, well, just off-white kind of color. And yeah, a lot of people really go mad for them. And I think it's got more to do with how much effort it actually takes to find them and to get them as it does as, well, as what they taste like. You tend to find them on the edges of ancient grasslands or really well-established grazing areas, which is actually what this is. It doesn't really look like it, but this was a plantation that was planted in the early part of the 20th century to replace wood that was cut down in the First World War. But there's grassland over there, and there's an ancient track that ran that way, but most of this was fields and farmland. And all the way along this section here, you find pig nuts at this time of year. See, the thing with pig nuts, is that for the forager, the bit you're after is actually, well, not this, this bit, it's the edible tuber that's all the way under there. So under UK law, you would need landowner's permission to uproot a wild plant, and it can't be a protected species that's on the schedule on the Wildlife and Countryside Act. So no matter what it is, if it's a wild plant, you need the landowner's permission to dig it up. Um, I do have the landowner's permission here, so I can dig it up. The trick is, well, first of all, decide which bits are pignut and which bits aren't. So that's pignut, that's pignut, that's pignut, and the rest is a mixture of bluebells and wooden enemies, which I'm gonna try and leave there. Remove these dense beech leaves, and get down to the bare soil. And the nut itself is actually about six to eight inches underground. Um, and it requires a bit of careful work to dig out because what you're trying to do is follow this stem all the way down. At the bottom, it does a 90 degree kink and goes into the tuber that way. So I'm gonna see if I can dig it out. Be really careful with it. But what's more likely to happen is you'll snap the thread, you'll snap the stem and you'll lose your chance of, fi of finding that pig nut unless you start sieving the soil. So, well, we'll see how we get on. There we go. So, that is a pig nut. That came from this stem. And you can see it kind of does a 90 degree thing at the end and it came off like that. So it is a bit of an effort to dig them up. And as I say, you've got to be really careful that you make sure that you're digging up the right thing, particularly as these often grow uh, in the same places that we find bluebells, which are a protected species. So it's illegal to dig those up no matter whether you have landowner's permission or not. So you've got to be really careful to make sure that you are uprooting that and only that plant. You get a chestnutty, parsnipy kind of taste with them when they're raw. Uh, and the, you need a bit of scrubbing or a bit of a cleaning to get the mud off the outside. A really good use for them is roasted with rabbit in a Dutch oven over a fire. Or something that I've done before is actually put them in a curry and use them like big chickpeas. Uh, we did a curry with rabbit and wild gooseberries and a few other things that we found with clients in the woods about 12 months ago. And well, yeah, that was one of the best meals I'd eaten last year. So yeah, pig nut, it's worth the effort to go and grab, but even if it's just, well, it's a proper foraging adventure trying to find them. And once you do find them, you get a real, well, rewarding sense having hunted it down. So that's it, pig nut.